what's the thing with me and Mark? You you have more insight on this, and I'll be so interested this fall as Ohio State begins to play, and we we'll see how Ryan Day you know decides to uh, utilize his offensive attack. Is how does he balance between keeping the ball and uh, and, and and CJ CJ's hands or getting the ball to Trevion Henderson? Um, you know, I, and I remember. You know, there was like at one point in time some question marks about how Urban Meyer was utilizing Zeke. You know, wasn't u- utilizing Zeke enough? Uh, I mean, a lot of people he got criticized for that that loss, and I think it was fifteen to Michigan State. Uh, Michigan yeah, State. Eleven carries. Yep. You know, so and I, and I think you know what will be interesting is you have obviously a Heisman Trophy candidate and finalist and CJ Stroud. You know, and then you have potentially the same caliber type talent, but at the running back position. You know, does he underutilize Trey now because he keeps the ball in CJ's hands too much? Or does he underutilize CJ because he's giving the ball to Trey and Henderson? Now, I'll be really interested to see how Ryan Day tries to use that balance because he has such great talent on the outside, too, in the right, uh, uh, wide receiver uh, core. I think that Ryan Day tends to be a little pass happy. I think he loves quarterbacks and wide receivers and throwing the ball all over the place. And I think that's where he tends to lean. And hopefully somebody's got his ear and keeps him in check that in the Big Ten, Ohio State's played different football than most of the Big Ten for quite a while when it comes to just the approach. Maybe maybe some other teams like Purdue do it, but they're not challenging for, you know, national championships, just in terms of the approach of, you know, we're going to spread the field. We're going to throw it a lot and they've taken a different approach. I, I, I want to make sure that they stay balanced exactly. But I, I think Ryan day tends to, to lean on the pass. That's, that's what he loves. I think most offensive gurus, just because you can do more in the pass game, they, they, you know, they're, they're great at what they do and Ryan day included, he's exceptional, but they, they tend to maybe overthink things at times want to be a little too exotic, uh, when they can mash some people a little bit. I would agree with that. And I, and kind of similar to what Dre said, I think urban would get into that at times as well, <clears throat> but I, I just, I was taking a look actually at Ohio State's schedule, and I, I believe they open with Notre Dame. But outside of that, the out of conference is, you know, they're, they're teams that they're going to beat. Uh, I think I saw Toledo there and some other team. But, yeah, I, I the to me, I think the Heisman moments, especially for quarterbacks, is is in the big games making the big plays and the big throws. So to me, you know, get I, I think getting Henderson his touches early on, you know, and you want to be, you want to almost be cautious with that too, because right. I, to me, all bets are off in the Notre Dame game, do whatever it takes to win that game. The next two games, you kind of want to, you know, balance it out. I mean, it's, it's one of those games where, you know, it's a cupcake game. So, you know, get your guys in there, get your, you know, 28, 35, nothing lead. I mean, what game was that, that they had late in the season where, I mean, it was like 42 to nothing by halftime. I mean, it, it was nuts Michigan on what they State. were. Yeah. I mean, it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, go go ahead and get up big and then, you know, take your guys out and, and give them that rest because, you know, you've got the Big Ten conference coming up. But yeah, to me, I, I think the the for Ryan Day, I think he should focus on those big games, the Penn State, Michigan State, Michigan games to where that's when CJ is going to win that Heisman. And that's when he's going to, you know, have those Heisman moments in the big games. But like you said, you can easily get yourself into trouble being pass happy because, you know, a pick six is is that that for most teams is is a huge it's huge as far as the outcome of winning and losing. And it and it's relatively easy to happen. You know, a, a quick miscommunication, you know, a guy got the wrong sign and, you know, you're in trouble. So um, I, I would say, yeah, ro- roll with Henderson. He's going to get you to the promised land and and. Uh, and then, you know, with CJ, I, I'd focus more on the big games versus trying to always have a big game with him. Yeah, they played Michigan State and Purdue right before. They might have had somebody else sandwiched in there right before Michigan. And they had kind of slopped through Nebraska and Penn State. And we we all know how good 
Michigan State was. Purdue was really good. Purdue was a legit top 20 team. They finished nine and four and they obliterated them. You know, it was that was a similar score at halftime, like 35 3 halftime game over. Michigan State 42 zip. And I thought, wow, this team's rolling. <laughs> but they got to Ann Arbor and they got punched in the mouth. 